What's going on, my little sea turtles? How you doing? What are we gonna pick here? A treachery? A tea academy? A tolly? True name Nemesis? You guys ever call it Nemesis? It's like a disease. He's got the Nemesis. My concern with taking Slayer Academy is there are going to be two people who are clamoring for these, these other artifact gentlemen. Whereas if we just take a Tali, nobody's going to want that. There's no other red cards that we're competing with. So, yeah, we take this. Next person takes Treachery. Next person takes True Name. And then we've already put two people into blue. So I... You guys are saying Academy, but I don't think you're looking at the bigger picture of how the draft works. So, I mean, we can take Academy and then just draft artifacts and ignore the blue, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if we get cut completely from blue cards. I mean, obviously, I would prefer drafting blue cards. Show and tell, turnabout, Mana Vault? Second pick Mana Vault? There must have been something good in this pack. All right, we're taking Mana Vault. We're going to let the colorless flow through us. See? I like that. I sure did. I sure did. It makes me wish I pick up these 40k decks because, like, the Vulture looks super cool. Even if I don't know what the Vulture is in, like, 40k lore. This just looks amazing. <laughs> And then, like, I was going to pick up one of these for my cube so that, like, they could be, in case I want to swap in that, the Warriors package. And this dude just looks insane. Like, this is the obvious version I would pick if I was able to pick one. Because, but this one's, like, $33, which is likely the same price. Oh, we're just taking Hullbreacher for sure. <laughs> right, they were only in a secret layer. Yes, correct. And there's also Sneak Attack in here. Man, we could have been a Tali sneaking, and you guys are having me take this Hullbreacher. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to live. I do like a Sentinel of the Nameless City. It's probably Shell Dock. I don't think it's Crucible. Could also be Tamio, and we can try to hit a Fast Bond here. If we're hitting Fast Bond, like, do we want Crucible or Zorin Orb? Oh, maybe. Let's take Crucible here and hope Zoranor wheels. That would be cool. Crop rotation. Now we can just play the land we sacrificed. And we can go get our, our Tolarian Academy. Unfortunately, nothing else in here is good. Come on, Avi. Do you don't be reminding me to restart, bro? Remind me next century. I don't like crop rotation. I do like Woodfall Primus a little bit better. I'm going to take rotation in case we also get Dark Depths combo. So what the hell, you know? Utop Fertile Ground. I was going to say Utopia Sprawl. They're all the same. There's Oh, there's, a, there's also a, a Sprawl in here. So uh, probably just taking Mightstone and Weakstone here. Also, actually, Wooded Foothills is pretty good when we already have Crucible. Yeah, let's just take Woody. Oh, I don't like... Hull Breacher, don't get me wrong. I think this card should not be in the cube. I think it's actually a step above, like, the good space. We're going to take Titania because that's exactly what we were hoping to get. Glad I picked that Wooded Foothills and Crop Rotation. This Okay, this, this is actually coming together quite well. Do we splash for this Fractured Identity? Because that is a banger. Seems like it wouldn't be too... Oh, there's Thespian Stage, actually. Interesting. Yeah, I'm taking Thespian Stage here. We're just going to stay the course. Elvish Mystic, do you do anything for us? Not really. I'm going to take Talisman. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it seems, feels pretty obvious why I would take Talisman here. Yeah, Chris mentioned in the article how, like, Hull Breacher was... Or not not Chris, Ryan. I guess Ryan wrote the article, but... Did Ryan write the article? I think Ryan wrote the article. I have to find out now. I don't... Even though it's we're, like, a lands-type deck, I don't really like 
life from the loam that much. I'm going to take uh, Endurance. I just think it's a stronger card. Slim and Carry added. Oh, also Talisman. Talisman seems better because we're obviously blue-green and we're also trying to Talarian Academy, so that seems like an easy pick. Oh, wow. Tamiyo and Sentinel came back. That's pretty sweet. I think we're just taking Tamiyo here. All right. This deck is looking pretty interesting. We do have a Thespian stage. So all we need is a Dark Depths, and then we have Crop Rotation. My English is not that great. I wrote the content. He made it look good. If the, yeah, no, that makes sense. Oh, that's that's pretty funny. What's the what's the Sentinel Academy interaction? Is it just being able to find it or I just put an extra E on the end of Sentinel. It was Sentinale. So oh Sylvan Library. That's juicy. Maps or artifacts? Smart. Smart. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's smart. That's good thinking. This is why they pay you the big bucks. And by big bucks, I mean, you know, they let you consult on the Vintage Cube. It's identical. Is it Southern Library or is it Coveted Jewel? Yeah, Stuart loves Sylvan Library. <laughs> Oh, man. So do I, though, to be fair. When I just want to full draw three, whenever I want to work here, they, they draw three and they gain the jewel. That's so scary. Also, there's this guy. It's got to be Sylvan Library, right? Oh, you like this fetch land, do you? Over Sylvan Library. Interesting. I feel like we'll get another, like in my brain, I'm like, I feel like we'll get another fetch land. But we'll probably not get, library is slow. <sighs> See, that was when I started to dislike Chris. Our friendship was just starting and it was gone so, so quickly. <laughs> watch it, we'll, I'll watch. Yeah, actually, you know, that's funny you say that. I bet it will, I bet it would have welt, welt, wheeled. <laughs> Whereas like Fetchlands probably not. Now we're just taking Undermountain Adventurer for sure. I would take this if it could actually get any of the lands that we're planning on playing, but uh, I'm just going to take this initiative creature. That's pretty good. Oh God, really? Ninety-eight percent of the time, I would be taking Mana Drain, but right now we have a Hull Breacher. Do I just take? Are we just wheeling? We're just, or we're just twisting? We're just twisting, right? Oh man, I don't think I've ever passed a Mana Drain in my life. This is interesting. I do like Palantir. Also, Underground Sea. We can't get it yet. This is also not terrible. Twist them, breach them. <laughs> uh, I mean, we do need lands, but this land is not going to do anything for us. It's also not going to just naturally go to the graveyard. Like, I could play a forest or an island over this, and it should be very similar. Also, the, this Palantir actually goes well with Talarian Academy, so I'm just going to take Palantir here. I do like a botanical sanctum. Bosank, as we call it, you know? I do kind of like Nissa as well. Yeah, we're just taking the the land that fixes, I guess. It's not Crater Hoof. It's not Questing Druid. Oh, I do like a Charter Course here. 
Also, I like a From the Catacombs as well. But I don't think we're a From the Catacombs deck. We have four creatures. Yeah, I'll just take Charter Course, I think. I don't think we're high tiding. Where's the Yavimaya but for islands that makes all your cards, all your lands islands? We got Yavimaya and Urborg, but nothing for mountains, plains, or, or islands. That seems very discriminatory. We could also take Finale and get like our Titania, Endurance, Undermountain Adventurer, Hull Breacher. And we'll just take Charter Course here. I do like a Malcolm. Top is probably fine, especially when we have combo pieces and fetches. Yeah, we'll just take Top. I'm taking Top a lot more frequently, and I blame you guys. Oh, Boseju seems good, especially with Crucible of Worlds. Unless we just wanted Nasika's Chariot. Yeah, I do like Nasika's Chariot, especially with a Talarian Academy. It took how many years to get Yavimaya? 13? Some of the 13, yeah. Probably. <sighs> Vampire Hex Mage, double black, huh? The alternative is Llanowar Elf, which I don't think it is. I'm going to take the Hex Mage... Just in case. Delighted Halfling. Or Manglehorn. Manglehorn might just be a solid guy. Aklazots was, was a fun dude when I was able to play him last week. Yeah, let's take Halfling here. Oh, Tribuilder? Okay, sure. That's a lot of red and, right, red and white cards here. Yeah, a lot more red and white cards here. I'll take Knight and maybe we splash it. Wow, that's elite. No one has any respect for Crater Hoof Behemoth. I don't think we're Crater Hoofing though. I'm gonna take Batter Skull. If we ever see a Stone Forge, maybe it'll be fine. We're not gonna Crater Hoof. I'm gonna give someone a nice, nice little last pick Crater Hoof. Should take an Underground for the Hex Mage. Maybe, maybe. Put this guy over here. Man, I love mono green poop. I am the biggest mono green poop fan there is. And sometimes you just hoof them, you know? Like, sometimes it's difficult for me to take these hyper, -y, hyper competitive spiky cards because I just want to do... I want to do the kind of mono green poop stuff, you know? I want to just channel an Emrakul or... Tooth and Nail, a Crater Hoof Behemoth. Uh, I'll take Samwise. Also, I think I feel like Archfiend is an interesting choice when there's no metam metamorphic alteration. Is that what it's called? Okay, what do we got here? Soul Ring and a Time Spiral. Well, I would love for that Time Spiral to be here, but I'm not going to pass a Soul Ring. <sighs> we can hope for like a Sail into the West or a, you know, Echo of Eons that we can discard with our Charter Course. Alternating trophy, non-trophy for the best. So going 2-1 or 3-0 in 7 and 7 drafts is pretty good. I feel like I haven't seen Channel in quite a few drafts, but yes, I do believe it's still in here. Uh, Dryad of the Elysian. Oh, Sail into the West. I mean, we have Hull Breacher, so yeah, we're taking Sail into the West. If Dryad or Golos or Metamorph comes back, I will be just fine with that. Unfortunately, yes. You know, I feel like as time has gone on, Chris has become more and more of a hater. <laughs> it's, it's really sad. You see the good people go, you know? We're taking Polluted Delta here, obviously. Zoran Orb did not come back. Oh man, that's sad. I was really hoping the Zorb would come back. Oh, what up, Kirkland Signature? Um. Also, I'd like to see a Dark Depths here. That would be fun. Where's Frankie's little Dark Depths, you know? Or a land we can search for, a dual land we can search for off of Delta and, and Wooded Foothills. So a Tropical Island specifically. Oh, a Ketria Triumph does, fits the bill. Are we missing anything imperative here? Not not really. 
I like Green Sun, but I can't get Hull Breacher with it, and that's what we really want to do. Yeah, Catcher of Trime is actually perfect. We can get it with Delta and with Wooded Foothill. It's also a good cycler in the late game to get back with Crucible. Also, I don't feel like we've seen Strip or Wasteland, which is interesting. I have the Crucible. Who's taking them, you know? <laughs> no Fast Spawn either. Uh, this is how I always feel when I draft the lands deck. I always feel like I'm missing a few key components. Savannah, huh? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, Stripper Wasteland. That's, 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 that's the new game I'm developing. Savannah is... We can get it with Wooded Foothills. Do we have anything white that we care about? Just Samwise. Days is fine. Fire Ice could be good. It could just be Oddity. I was actually considering that as well. Just as another beater. That can come down pretty quick. <sighs> Nothing else is exciting in this pack. The only thing I can think is Savannah, in case we want to splash something like Night of Autumn. Which is not terrible. Oh, a Lotus Field is fascinating. Interesting. Also, Augur of Autumn and Reclaimer in the same pack. Jeez. We don't have any way to untap it, though, do we? I mean, it's still not bad. We can get the lands back with Crucible. It's great with Titania. Yeah, and we can copy it with Espion Stage. Yeah, I think that's I think I'm convinced. Interesting. We got a Noble Hierarch. I like Thieving Skydiver a lot. I I might like it more than Noble Hierarch. Also, Mind Slaver is an option. Actually, Mind Slaver might be good with all the mana we can generate between Telerian Academy and like Hull Breacher treasures. Yeah, that might be better. Maybe this is like. Maybe we can mind slaver. It's been a while since I've mind slavered somebody. Oh, it's been so long. We're gonna give it. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Wow. Well, there's a channel. I'm actually. I think this Warnclex is super cool. No, I think the five drop one is super cool. This one's pretty good, right? I don't think it's good for us. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely channel. Like, there's nothing really else going on in this pack. Interesting. Natural order, man. Like, we just got natural order in channel back to back. This is what I mean. Like, no one loves the the poop here. Steel Seraph is just a guy we can cast off channel. I don't think natural order. Like, we have seven creatures. Four of them. Six of them are, are green. One of them is a delighted halfling, and one is a tri builder. So, actually, Haywire Might's pretty good. Oh, Dryad came back. So did Golos. That's interesting. I think I care more about Golos. Uh, Raging Ravine? Hmm. I mean, we already have Ketri of Triumph. Yeah, I could see playing Raging Ravine. Green Sun Zenith. Do you get anything better now? Do you, do you get Titania? You get Ulvenwald Oddity, Undermount Adventurer, Endurance. I mean, it's probably still the pick. I'll take a Sir Ginger. Wow, Elvish Reclaimer came back. Unfortunately, we did not get Dark Depths. That's unfortunate. All right, so we need four cuts, six cuts. That's worse. That's a lot. Yeah, Sir Ginger's definitely not going to be main deckable. I don't even know if we're channeling here. I mean, channel into Golos or Mindslaver seems fine. Oh. <sighs> 
I could see 15 lands. I don't, or I could see 16. I don't, I'd be reluctant to go 15 just because. Channel does very little, I would say. Is Fertile worse than Tri Builder? Like, Fertile actually taps for any color, which could be nice with Golos. Yeah, so that's that's interesting. Like you you kind of don't want to sacrifice the land you put it on to Lotus Field. Yeah, I think it's like six of one, half dozen of another for that. I like all of our five drops. I think endurance can just be in the sideboard for now. Green Sun Zenith is not great for us. Um Crop rotation sacking a land to get Lotus Field to sack two more lands might be rough. Getting Talarian Academy could be good, though. Okay, so almost all of our lands are playable, it looks like, if not all of them. Oh, Restless Cottage. Yeah, that was the outlier there. So this is 26. I could see cutting, like, Delighted Halfling. Like, we already have Mana Vault, Soul Ring... Uh, two talismans. I think we, I, I feel like it's Delighted Halfling and like Channel. Interesting. I'm gonna, all right. So I'm gonna cut these two. I wanna put Endurance back in because I'm trusting Chris here. Yeah, I do like being able to go Halfling into Hull Breacher. I mean, that's definitely not nothing. I'm wondering if I need Haywire Might in the main. Oh, what up, Sea Donkey? Yeah, I think I'm going to cut, cut Might and go 16 lands. That feels correct. Also, not splashing anything also feels good. And also, we're very minimal blue. We have like four blue cards. They all require one blue. So this should be relatively easy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Also, Raging Ravine is nice. We can actually play it off of like Lotus Field or Ketria Triome. Um... I mean, Golos is just a man that we can activate off of Lotus Field or Ketria Triome. Um, Talisman of Unity makes white, and we can just get a land off of it, which is totally great if you're getting um, to learn Academy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was kind of blue or green. I don't know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve green. And then two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight blue. I think that's probably fine. All right, let's see if this deck can do anything. I gotta go to the gym, but I hope to see you streaming later. Have some great games. Mike Young, have a good time at the gym, buddy. I hope you get all the gains. What's up, Dugs? Droogs? <laughs> you messed up your own Clockwork Orange reference. 
This is a very sparse sideboard here. I guess we have Sir Ginger against some Planeswalkers. Haywire Might. We could bring in Knight of Autumn. We have uh, Lotus Field and Talisman of Unity. Maybe. Hmm. Well, that's not the most exciting hand. Haywire Might what? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna ship that. That's much better. I also do like uh, being able to sack basics to Lotus Field. Interesting. Um, I think it's actually just Mind Slaver because we can cast everything else. Get that turn one Reclaimer down because Reclaimer is almost turned on with a Lotus Field. So we can go turn two, Mana Vault, turn three, Lotus Field. Oh. That's interesting. Get in there. Just got another forest. Hmm. Could get Talarian Academy here, but I don't know how well set up we are for it. Could also just get Raging Ravine and then have the mana to activate it, which might be better. That seems decent. I mean, we have seven mana. Don't have a ton to do with seven mana. Animate Dead, Sakura Tribe Elder. You got it. All yours. Uh, I don't think we're going to pay for the Mana Vault this turn. Oh. Fascinating. It's just not worth getting a basic back, right? Like, I'd rather not expose her if I don't have to. Save her modesty. She is a lady. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a good point. You don't want to expose her if you don't have to. Smart. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, boy. There's a part of me that's tempted to just exile this to make this guy smaller, and we're going to lose them anyway. Do I have any way to get her back? Yes. We can get her back via Tamio. Manage Rain or Strip Mine pack one, pick one? I would say Manage Rain, personally, but... Well, I now have no cards, so we're really hoping this Raging Ravine goes the distance, but we do have a good amount of mana. <laughs> well, that'll do, I guess. I think we tap Mana Vault for this one. Uh, what is it? Return? Each player returns up to... No, it's Embark. We're embarking. Yep. Sounds good. So we have four mana floating. Three mana floating and a... Discard your hand and draw seven. Sure, will do. Will do. They get to draw three. So I think that's a fair trade. They're really, uh, they're really tanking on this with no mana. Sometimes you just forget you can lean back, and then it's really nice. I did not play Midnight Suns. I, I was kind of on the fence about it. Got pretty good reviews. Wow, nine nine out of ten on Steam and eighty eight percent like this game. It's not waiting for me, right? <laughs> like, is there? Am I doing something? Is it me? Did I do something wrong? Uh, it's oh twenty bucks at Best Buy is pretty good. Jeez. Uh, okay, so I want to have four mana. Hmm. Well, they kept their four. We could Thespian Sage copy Lotus Field. That leaves us one. I think it's just better to get Undermount Adventure out. I assume they're going to kill this guy and take the initiative, but is that fine? How are we golosing? What am I missing? Do we play a land? We didn't play a land this turn, did we? That makes sense. Yep, that's definitely what we're doing. For some reason, I was thinking we had four mana. Five mana definitely changes things. Let's get... Let's get the T Academy. All right. I feel better about them killing Golos if they want to kill something. We also have red, blue. Oh, that's that's sad. They're gonna take our slaver. Um, yeah, we also have four colors. So if we hit like a talisman of unity here, we get a all five colors to activate Golos. Hey, chief, what are you doing? Solid, solid choice. You wanna come up here? Is 
do? Want to go down? What do you want to do? Oh, that's a good one. A classic, you might say. Oh, all right, I'm going to put you down, okay? Oh, they did not attack. Interesting. Uh, no, I'll just take it this time. Okay, not the draw we were hoping for. <sighs> Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine total mana. But we're one color shy of Golosing. <laughs> the Shade Ravine rumbling. <laughs> it is time. Uh, what is that? That's five. Yeah, I mean, we could do that and then also copy Lotus Field with Thespian Stage. So one, two. Yeah, let's get the, the Minsk Arena out of here. Do we attack with both? They have to, if they double block here, they lose Minsk and Boo. If they single block here and single block here, nothing happens. So they can easily single block here. I think this is an easy double block for them. Oh, it's not a double block. Fascinating. Yeah, so they could have just blocked here and it's the same outcome. Uh, we got one, two. Oh, by initiate, you meant initiate, take the initiative. Got it, got it. Um, yeah, my concern with the initiative is that they just, it's, it's, it feels likely they're going to be able to take it back. But on the other hand, like, they're going to draw a lot of cards next turn. It might just be better to get more guys on the board, though. Plus, we get to search for another island, I guess. That's our last basic. Okay, well, the basics are all gone. Well, if they want to put some counters on this guy, I'm just going to... I'm just going to take it and let them get a land. Also, this is not... <laughs> The, the deck with Torok in it was not the deck I was expecting to have Temple Garden, Forest, Copperline Gorge. I did not expect this to be a four-color Torok deck, but here we are. Okay, they're just sacking and drawing here. Yep. Can't really argue with that. Oh dear. Seven mana, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I can't even kick that dude with triple black in two color decks. Yep. Okay. Well, now they get the initiative and the monarchy. Well, the splash makes sense now. Fantastic. Doing well. <laughs> Doing wonderfully. Okay, I think we're probably going to go to the next game here. 
Yep. Active Minsk and Boo, Initiative, Monarch, and 422s is probably where I draw the line. Oh, boy. Um, maybe Sir Ginger. Uh, tomorrow is the Magic Online Vintage Cube that actually Chris Wolf in the chat had a big part in uh, updating for a, for a new generation. Honestly, I'm kind of... I'm kind of tempted to bring in Bonfire here. <laughs> and maybe like one one mountain. Like we have a, an abundance of mana. As long as we can get a red, it doesn't even matter if we... Were we playing 40? We're playing 17 lands. Oh no. Oh no, that's not okay. That might contribute to our, our little flood there. Uh, I'm gonna take out crop rotation. Oh, when I actually, I bet when I added the red, it also had, uh, I bet it also had a green checked. Yeah, that, that, that sounds correct. We didn't see a ton of removal from them though. Like I feel like there was not, a, other than like Shieldred's Edict, I feel like we didn't see a bunch of removal. So if we EOT Hall Breacher into something, I feel like we're actually in pretty good shape. He said <laughs> completely, obviously. Uh, I will play first. Okay, it's your boy. Keep this. We'll we'll use the Delta to get a Ketria Triome. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's uh that sure is a thing there, isn't it? Just like we drew it up, guys. Just like we drew it up. I think we're just getting forest here. Obvious reasons. Um, let's go Talisman. If we draw like Talarian Academy, I want it to be actually... I want to be able to activate it. <laughs> a land here would be great because I'd love to go into a Seeker's Chariot. Eh, never mind. Just kidding. Interesting choice. Yeah. It was all for nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna... Maybe. I think it's more important to actually play to the cards we have rather than the cards we can draw. I'd rather just make sure we can cast a Seeker's Chariot next turn. Sure. Let's get probably just another forest here. Mm -hmm. Destroy an artifact or a creature, huh? Is it just Tamio here? Plussing to hit like. Oh, what up, J Bro? Uh, let's choose Time Twisty. We did not hit a Time Twisty. We hit a Sylvan Library, an Under uh, a Chart, and a Sensei's Top. Okay. Well, we tried. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. It's a solid, a solid maneuver. The old tireless tracker into a fetch land, eh? A classic. Okay, they didn't crack it. 
So here's the thing. If we just plus and try again, like eventually we're going to hit it, right? That was not the time either. Well, we're not hitting sail either, so. I mean, this lets us at this at least lets us keep two two kitty cats around. So, oh, we can't actually sack permanence. Well, mm, we can't. They that's not that's not how that works. Um, what was the other? Can't cause me to discard. Seems pretty relevant. <laughs> You're not worried about the tracker. Uh, in what, in what way? I mean, it's not great, but I mean, if they want to spend two mana each turn to draw a card and they have four lands, like, that's fine. I'm more worried about trying to set up Hullbreacher into, I mean, what could I have done about the tracker? I mean, I don't want to play Hullbreacher because then they just kill it next turn with Doretti, so... Uh, I think if we can set this guy up, our bonfires... I want to be able to bonfire and also kill the Doretti, which I think we can do if we set up a Hull Breacher turn. That was my specific plan. Oh man, if they chose to tap four to Torok, that would be hilarious. They do need a sec. Oh, they added another black. Oh man, this would be amazing if they did that. Interesting. They plus. They just plus already again. They didn't kill the chariot. This is all very fascinating. Time twister. Endurance. That is not a time twister. Hmm. I don't think anything in here is worth getting back just yet. I think we're just going to go for it one more time. Here it is, right? Still nothing. Now we hit sail. Oh, dang it. All right. Well, we can keep up Hull Breacher and Endurance right now. They can crack two clues. I've milled 12 cards with Tamiyo. We could bonfire for two, but then they're just going to crack a clue for this guy. Yeah, like that doesn't, it just doesn't get rid of the things we want to get rid of. Yeah, I think we're just passing. I feel like next turn our odds of hitting time, time twister is, they've got to be pretty good, right? Just when I'm working on it. I'm working on it, Jonathan. Oh, no, they're going to do something. Like, we can't expose Hull Breacher when they have Doretti out. They just kill it immediately. As they should. Mm, that seems fine. If you're trying to reanimate, if they try to reanimate that, it's going to be nice to endurance it. Be like Arya Stark <laughs> killing Night Kings of Q. No, that would definitely be you, buddy. Let me see how many trophies you have right now. How do I? How do I get there? 
I don't know how to get there. Actually, maybe I do. Hold on. We can go to this one. Where are you? Not many? That's surprising. Search bar is under the lead. I've never had to use it. Usually he's just at the top, you know? I expected better, J-Bro. I've got more kids than trophies. That's never stopped you before. What are they targeting? Chariot, perhaps? Oh, they're choosing an artifact card in a graveyard. Other... They're choosing three soul rings. Interesting. I think we just endurance. Yeah, I think we just endurance our own graveyard here. I mean, because it, it doesn't it doesn't shuffle back in. It just goes on the bottom in a random order, so it's not going to affect our Tamio hits. Man, trading a Duretti for nothing was pretty good. Thank you. Oh, Kurt with the gifted sub to Magic Marker Studios. Maybe the real kids are the trophies we went along the way. Actually, that was great timing. Wow, now they're going to play a scavenging ooze? That's pretty nice. Oh, man. I got all my cards back for free. Interesting. They have two clues. They got six. Hmm. Let's see if this does anything. They can pump for, they can make it a seven, six. Sure. If they actually activate this one, I'm going to Hall Breacher because then they're tapped out. And Duretti's gone. Interesting. Well, that is unfortunate, but... That doesn't hit Hull Breacher now, so I guess that's something. All right, let's see what we do. This is it. It's the moment of truth. The moment of truth did not did not pan out for us, unfortunately. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
I mean, it doesn't get rid of the tireless tracker, but it does get rid of all their tokens, and the scavenging ooze no longer is a threat, which is not a card we want them to have when we're trying to shuffle our graveyard back in. So we just, we hit four and we drew one and there were 13 cards left. So I think there's eight cards we haven't seen. Kurt with another gifted sub. Really appreciate it, my dude. Oh, they're paying costs. They have one man and they're paying costs. Makes sense. Sounds good. Um, just getting in there with this. Tamiyo is pretty sizable right now, so I don't actually think she's... I mean, I think they can probably kill Hall Breacher here, but we can actually get it back, so not terrible. Tamiyo's looking pretty fat right now. Well, they can't crack their clues unless they get rid of Hull Breacher. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And we're definitely blocking both of these guys. That's fine. Let's twist one time. We got five hits. That means three cards in our deck will not have been seen. Oh, correct. I didn't know you're actually, you're actually in the office. Hit the chariot. Good choice. Good choice. I will not pay four mana. I will, however, draw Time Twister. Okay. Now you're just now you're just pulling my leg here. Okay. Well. <sighs> I have four out of seven cards to look at. It's in the deck, right? Did I put it in the deck? Am I insane? It's in the last three cards of my deck. That's what you're saying? It's in the last three cards. That is wild. Oh, boy. So I have a 33% chance of drawing it if I just top deck. <laughs> I think we're getting back to Larian Academy here. It gives us two mana. That's so insane. I can't get over that. I started building an app to maximize my Diablo 4 skills board, but my brute force attempt is not performant enough, so I need to find a better algorithm. Yeah, I, uh, I've been there. Who hasn't been there? I mean, when you're, when your time twister is one of the last three cards in your deck, I guess that's, uh, just how it goes. Crack a clue, kill Tamiyo. It's very easy. Yep. Yep. It's all academic at this point. Oh, wow. I mean, if my deck was shuffled or if the cards that Endurance put back... To... <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that was satisfying. Even though we didn't get the Time Twister with Hull Breacher. That was still satisfying. Get rid of the Hull Breacher. Easy choice. Yep. It's all academic from here. Let's draw Time Twister. Still nothing. All right, we're going to go to the next match. Let's see. Second to last card in the deck. <sighs> the, 
that's hilarious. Let's make sure we don't have 17 lands. I don't think we do. 16, perfect. All right. Wow, that was hilarious. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Any turn, any turn where I activate Tamiyo and, and hit Time Twister, we get seven extra mana, seven cards, they get nothing. I guess Hull Breacher is a fair card after all. Should have just killed the tracker. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, yeah, we can we can look back and figure out all the times I mess. I you know I I did not make the best play. But also like second to last card, man. Activate Tamiya like six times after shuffling my graveyard back in. She was at 10. So six, seven, eight, nine. So five times. I activated Tamiyo five times. Tamiyo milled 20 cards. Hmm. We'll keep this. We can go Ravine and to turn to Halfling Mana Vault. Or Forest. Yeah, okay. Forest into Halfling. Next turn we can play Undermountain Adventurer. That seems good. I actually really like Man... The more I think about Manifold Key, I actually really like it as an addition. Being able to just untap your, your Mana Vault or your um, Grim Monolith is pretty sweet. Oh, that's interesting. Nothing to really take advantage of it yet, though. Actually, maybe it was Raging Ravine. Cast Mana Vault off this guy and cast Undermount Adventure. That seems better. But we can cast Titania off of Delighted Halfling. And this guy's a warrior, too. I hear the new cube likes warriors. Let's get a forest. Y'all ever click on your lands even though you've played one just to make sure you've played one? Simply have a wonderful Christmas time. Exploration. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, are they just going to be the better lands deck? I bet they would. I don't love it, but that's okay. Let's forge, and we'll make you a little more threatening. Oh, that's, that's a good hit. That's a satisfying little gem. I think we just attack for six here. Okay. Well, do we chart? We can either chart or we can keep endurance up. These are the questions. Or we can do both because we have this guy, which adds two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that then. Oh my god, they're gonna... Oh, okay, well that's fine. I was really afraid of Hull Breacher there, I'll be honest with you. They get to deal three to something, which is not as good as dealing four to something. <laughs> Thankfully. So I'll just take my, my licks. Oh, a soul Ring. Fascinating. Well, now I'm just going to play a Seeker's Chariot. That feels good. That was a solid turn. 
attack for six, chart of course, play a Seekers Chariot. Sure. Treachery off the top, huh? Well, that's going to be obnoxious, but you're going to eight here. I will not pay the four. Okay. Well, hmm. I do wish there was a land in our graveyard, but it might just be better to play Titania here and crew. One, two, three. Oh, we didn't, we're not going to crew. Yeah, I just totally forgot to crew. That's good. When they're at eight. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's just attack with everybody still. They go to seven? Or they go to one, rather? Oh, dear. Yep. Definitely paying the price for not crewing there. That's exactly what we wanted to do. We literally had the plan lined up and then we just clicked too fast. Yep. So we know you have Treachery and Candelabra. You're going to steal Titania. You're going to Time Warp. Okay. Okay, so your candle. Yep. Life from the loam. So you have treachery candelabra and two other cards. Okay. It doesn't do much right now. So I assume you have time walk in hand, right? Untap that, sure. Now you're going to treachery. And we're going to crew with whoever you treachery so you don't have a blocker. I definitely feel like we just gave them an extra turn. We would have had one extra blocker. Like, they could have just blocked with Bowmasters at that point, though. So, it, like, they, they still would have survived. We would have had one extra cat. We know they have... We don't know any of the cards, I guess. They've played Candelabra and Treachery, were the two I knew about. So, four, five, six. Are they just going to spin the wheel here? Are they going to time twister? Or time, time spiral? That would be really good. Especially with a Bowmaster at Govions. Well, you don't get your mana back, I guess. Still pretty good. So we're going to... Yeah, all right. Not ideal. Excuse me, my son is also named Bort. So they're going to kill one cat and the chariot. Cat. Face. Cat. Cat. Chariot. 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 So I can crop rotation sack a land for a um For a red source to play Raging Ravine, so that could, or to activate, that actually could make the difference. They're getting like a 7-7 seven, seven here. Well, they're not drawing Time Warp yet. So 
they have four mana. <laughs> Go again. Oh, yeah, that's a thing, all right. That is a thing, all right. So they're going to deal seven or kill two things again. Eight, nine, ten. They can't kill us here. Sure. Boy, everybody's just doing it better, you know? Yep. Can I deal one damage? <laughs> I mean, not with this five land Crucible of Worlds hand, that's for sure. Petra Trium is in hand. Looks like we'd need Lotus Field, which I don't want to sacrifice those two. That's unfortunate. So I guess we're just getting Botanical Sanctum. Get a land that comes into play untapped. We can actually cycle Trium, play Crucible next turn. Maybe do what we want to do. Oh, I think we actually just win now. Wow, that's cool. Assuming we can... Uh, assuming we can uh, amass the mana, right? We cycle Triome. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I think we might... No, we're... Mm, oh, this is going to come into play tapped, though, isn't it? Yep, that's not going to do it. Man, oh my god, should it have just been should it have just been Lotus Field? If we Lotus Field. Sylvan Library. If we can get rid of this guy, we just do we just win? I don't know. Do we have a way to do that? I don't know. This is an aggressive attack when they have one mana though. Oh, does that do it? Oh, that's interesting. Oh my god. Why did you attack with those guys? All I needed was a red source. What in the earth? That was a shocking... What a shocking turn of events. Wow, that's wild. I did not expect that to happen. Also, we have the Hull Breacher, and they have some draw sevens, so that's kind of good. Orcish Bowmaster is kind of a kind of a jerk, though. Do, I just keep, do we just want Bonfire again? I feel like Bonfire is not terrible. General Corby, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I also feel like we should have one mountain in the main deck just for activations and searchings and things. Especially with the wooded foothills. You just want an untapped source sometimes. Um, I'm like very shocked we won that game. Our opponent's name is also Glue Licker, so, you know. This hand is kind of rough. We do we get the to top and then we get to endurance or Tamio if we hit a blue source. Yeah, we'll 
we'll give it a shot. Okay. Well, they don't be hating on glue now. <laughs> I would never. I'm not a liquor myself, but you know, I've, I don't, I don't disrespect the liquor community. Uh, you know, I get it. Some people just want a little glue fix. None of my business. You're keeping your mount shut? Don't open your mount. There's nothing in there but organs. What do you think they got? Something good, I, I bet. Uh, let's just ravine. Actually, what if there, what if there's a, a soul ring on top, you know? Oh, hull breacher. Oh, the hull daddy. Well, we're definitely putting hull daddy on top. And then we're going to have endurance and hull daddy for next turn. Should I call him that? Hull daddy? Is it a, is it a lady? Is it a hull lady? Hull mommy? <laughs> Oh, good. I played a land that they can kill. Wonderful. I'm having a good time. Fantastic. Oh boy, are they going to do it? Are they going to draw all the cards this turn? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, Breacher looks slightly worse, but they're still not drawing any cards. So I'll draw seven and take seven, but they'll draw nothing. So, you know, feels like it still works out a little bit. Uh, let's play land. I also don't mind just hard casting endurance into their guys if I have to, if that's what they, if that's what they're going to make me do. Oh my God. Are they just going to, are they going to do something? Oh boy. That's fascinating. Are they just going to crack it now? Because that would be amazing. I'm just going to take two. Thanks for the treasures. I mean, unfortunately, they get their hand back, but like... Well, that's no good. Yeah, just not gonna. Mm. Do we have, like, we just don't have much to deal with Bowmasters. Like, if we block here, we still take eight next turn, or last turn, we would have taken one less. But then we would have taken two more because they, I guess they could have cracked it and just killed Endurance. So. I 
We have 10 mana. Huh. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. How does this work? You may cast this card when it's, when you draw it, if it's the first card you've drawn this turn. Oh, well. So I'm going to need to do it for seven, eight, nine. So I can do all of the clues plus a land and still play halfling. This could be. Uh, you can instant speed any miracle when when it's when it's miracled. Because that's just how miracle works, my boy. Oh, this is exciting. I think we're just going to let them main phase something. Because if they have like a creature. Hmm. Well, we don't really have a way to deal with that, I don't think. No, the Orc Army doesn't get plus one because it's not the first time I've drawn a card, right? Except the first time they draw on each of their draw steps. Oh, God, I hate cards like this. I, I hate that there's, like, so many different templatings for cards. That's, like, my biggest pet peeve. Like, we're at Leovold, which is what I'm used to. It says each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. So seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm just like one mana shy. I shouldn't have cast this. Not only did I give them a treachery target, but like I also priced myself out of having a way to... Because like the, we're going to... Actually, the way the stack might work, it actually might be better. It might work, rather. Because if I draw, this trigger goes in the stack. But the card is already... The card is already triggered, right? So am I crazy? Does that work? I'm going to kill this, though, because we don't have a way to really get it back. Yeah, I believe this goes on top. Seems good. I'm going to hit OK. Cast it at your face. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And they get a stupid arm. Ah, damn it. <laughs> ah. There's no way to really do it, though, because this trigger will always go under the Sensei's top trigger. So. Oh, a channel. All right, well. We are at two. I'm actually going to put my graveyard back. All right. We're not dead. We can block Oracle. They have channel and two blanks. We got a horizon canopy. And I think we're probably dead. That's pretty good, yeah. Wow, not a single land. <laughs> Seven cards, no lands. That's kind of impressive. Josh, I picked up Midnight Suns for 20 bucks. So that's pretty cool. 
Yeah. All right, that'll do. Let's bring in Haywire Might. That seems pretty good. We also have Night of Autumn. I don't think I want to splash the white here for it. Bonfire actually doing some work. What are we taking out? One cut. Or I can just... Actually, I'm kind of okay with playing 41 here because we have so many mana sources. Yeah, exactly. Bonfire with a Talarian Academy that doesn't do anything? This hand's pretty sus. I'm going to ship this hand. It's not that much better. Anza, thanks for the raid, man. Really appreciate it. Sweet. I will keep this guy. I'm not thrilled about it, but... It's a hand. It's a living. Oh, wow. Glulicker has an Elvish Reclaimer? Wow. Glulicker, you are... coming out, bro. Alright. Well. I will not attack. <laughs> no attacks. So we can get that Academy back now. Fascinating. I mean, they can go get a wasteland, but we can go get... We can go get a lotus field. Do we get a lotus field? Probably. We... <laughs> yeah, it's a stripper wasteland. All right. Well, now we have a three, four. Next turn we have five. We can actually time twister. Tap two, sack forest to make a thespian stage and we can time twister as well, which would be pretty good as far as turns go, it feels like. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, crucible? Oh, this is actually, I think this is the turn. It also gets rid of their graveyard. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go land. Let's tap to get Thespian Stage. I guess it comes into play. It doesn't, they're gonna have a, a turn to react to it though. So maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just go land Time Twister. But then they just draw. They draw two. That's sad. So if we go get, if we go get Thespian Stage, we can just activate it, right? No, it comes on the battlefield tapped. Ah, oh, man, everything is like just it's so close, but so far. We go get Thespian Stage, comes into play tapped. We have a Lotus Field, we activate to Time Twister. We could just Time Twister, but like, I mean, it lets us draw five and they draw yeah, that still feels better than not doing that. We have two lands, like, they essentially draw two cards, we draw five, so. Oh, and we draw the Thespian Stage, which is pretty good. Hmm. 
Okay. I mean, if they tap Wasteland, we could just play Thespian Stage, make a copy of Lotus Field to keep up Endurance. Heartbeat on top. Hmm. I mean, we could just go get a fetch land, which is good with Titania. Let's do that. Get a forest. We'll play Thespian Stage. And then we can just keep up Endurance. I mean, we could have also Lotus Field. Uh, we could have played a land for the turn. Oh, we wouldn't have the Wooded Foothills to get back, though. Yeah, so it's just, you, you get one either way with Titania. Tutor on top. We also have eight mana. We're very close to just mind slavering them. Heartbeat of Spring. We're actually on track to mind slavering them. They are going to go time twist or time warp here so that's kind of a bummer or time spiral that's pretty good too yep that's good oh official magic online with this humongous raid oh my god that's incredible Really appreciate the rate official magic online. If that is your real name. We're getting crushed though, so we drafted the lands deck, but it didn't it's missing pieces. Chris Wolf had faith in us, but Oh good. <laughs> Channel. Okay, well, here we go. Is a time spiral in the future? Quite possibly. Yep. My kingdom for a hull breacher. There is a free, yeah, you got a free vintage cube token in Magic Online, so definitely make sure you take advantage of your free vintage cube draft when the Magic Online vintage cube goes up tomorrow. Demonic Tutor. You got it. They have one mana. Plus six mana on board. It's so like seven mana. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. Sure. Treachery. That's pretty good. You know, there's so many times where I wish I could get rid of my own guy. Orcish Bowmans. Yeah, it's okay. They only have eight mana left, so I'm pretty sure we're okay. Well, I don't think they drew... I don't think they drew the Brain Freeze. I think it was on top and then the demonic tutor. Maybe they're, oh, maybe they're, maybe they got it though. Maybe they chose to brain freeze, you know? 
Oh, that's right. They do have channel. I forgot about all that mana. Good call. I think I forgot because I'm just like, that's a weird, interesting. Well, you, there's no, no lands in your graveyard. So I only just have four mana in the channel. Okay, so what is even going on? Mind's Desire for six. What is even happening? All right, let's see what the hits are. That was the first fucking one. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes you're just meant to not win, you know? Yep. Seems good. And Phyrexian Metamorph. Yeah. Man, Mind's Desire is a hell of a drug. What does this guy even copy? Bowmasters? Yeah, Bowmasters. And then we're just basically dead on the spot to a Time Spiral and Memory Jar. So that's... That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, so we are currently 0-2 with this deck. I don't think this deck has the chops. Unfortunately, it just did not come together. That's the one the one issue I found with the lands deck is that like I'll get a lot of the components like Crucible, Titania, uh, Crop Rotation, Lotus Field, Thespian Stage. But then like if you're missing like any of the other components like Fast Bond, like we also have Sail into the West and Hellbreacher Time Twister, but it's just not not doing it, you know, so... MTG Pyro, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's only yeah, it's only twelve damage with Bowmasters and then negative nineteen. It's I mean it's I I probably could have played it out, you know, see how see how it goes. There's no guarantees, right? Maybe they don't cast either. Maybe they forget. What did I hit off Mind's Desire? I don't know. I forgot. Isn't that awkward? Sure is. Green needs a couple more busted cards like Channel and Fast Spawn. I agree. Yeah, all right. Doomsday is going to be interesting. I'm very curious to see what kind of Doomsday piles people are going to come up with. <laughs> Maybe next time you will estimate me. Oh, I, the Sylvan Library Island, or uh, <laughs> Island, Sylvan Library Goblin Guide combo is a pretty good one. I'm going to use a green to, to cast this guy. Oh, beautiful. I didn't even have to I didn't even have to put that on top strategically. Look at that. Oh, what are you going to do? What? Why are you the way that you are? God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. Fantastic. <sighs> You know, for a deck with Time Twister and Sail into the West and Sylvan Library, when back-to-back -back opponents have Orcish Bowmasters, it's just not very fun. <sighs> Would you like to use this ability? Do I take two and give them... No, it's just not worth it. <laughs> it's just not... It's not worth it. I guess it's just this guy and Triome. Oh boy. 
more like dorkish bowmasters. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's comedy. Mana Vault. Is that a thing I care about? Probably. Yeah, let's just take three here and keep Mana Vault. Because then we can just play Golos. Goblin Guy just puts it into your hand. If it's a land, you may put it in your hand. Remember how excited I was for the, man for the Sylvan Library to set up lands? And they were like... No, no. And I was like, oh no. Do we have anything exciting? Lotus Field? <sighs> Thespian Stage? Academy, sure. Uh, we do have ways to activate Golos. Like, we have three on board here. We have a Talisman of Unity. We can use Lotus Field to make a fifth color. Like, it's not easy, but it's definitely doable. I was like, this is going to be Prismari Command. They're just going to kill Golos. And then they did. So now our academy is worse. We're taking one from the vault. We can't really use our Sylvan Library. Unless we want to take an extra two damage every turn. We sail into the west, though. That's fascinating. Especially with an Orcish Bowmasters. Like, the problem is we just can't get rid of this guy. Our deck is just not not positioned to get rid of a Bowmaster. Like, I keep feeling like I should just have Bonfire in the main deck. And I think that's correct. All right. Decent opener. Talisman in the top. Okie dokie. So long top. Oh, actually, I might just take Time Twister. Well, I mean, there's very few blue-green decks that can actually just kill a 1-1. One, one. It's just not a thing. I mean, usually you have creatures that can block them, but, like, we're not an, aggress we're an aggressive deck. Took top. That is fascinating. Now they're going to go Braid Talisman of Unity. Goblin Guido. And we whiff. Real Talisman of Curiosity. Okay. So now we can go Talisman. Oh, goodbye, Time Twister. Yep. Jesus. Oh, good times. This guy. Golos getting... Talarian Academy is great, but also, uh, oh, not to, yeah, Talarian Academy is great, but we also have red, white, blue, green. We have blue, white, green, red. So if we actually get, 
if we get hmm, Lotus Field, we'd have to sack one of the, we'd have to sack the, the blue source, basically. Um, it actually might just be Golos and get to Iron Academy now. One, two, three. Interesting. Oh, but then I guess we just get to play the land again with, yeah, I think I'm going to actually get, Yeah, we just get Lotus Field because we have um, Crucible out. So next turn we can just play... I don't think we played a land that turn, which is pretty bad. So they're going to flip Jace. They're going to duress us. For Mind Slaver. Super Fritz, have a good night, buddy. Or they're just gonna kill Golos. Oh man, I'm so so discouraged we didn't just get our land back. Or they're just gonna get our whole hand. We can still well, well we can still Golos. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Don't be lands. The Seagus Chariot, Olivenwald Oddity, and Raging Ravine seems pretty good. That's probably one of the better hits we could have had. Well, they have two cards. They can't negative Jace. Yo, this apple is red on the inside. <laughs> also high, I guess. Wow. He just came for the, the apple brags. You got it. Austin, who's here? What does this guy do when you flip it? Plus one, plus one, tremble haste. God damn. I mean, do we just keep activating Golos? Like, that feels correct. They have two cards. Doesn't seem like the best. <sighs> yeah, might as well, right? We're here for a good time, not a long time, you know? We need green and white. Sure. Uh, okay. This guy. Get the initiative. Grab a land. Let's get a forest. Playing this off the top because it's free. Crew with these two. Attack Jace, attack Jace, attack you. Copy this little guy. Should have copied the O2, just for future reference. Um, doing that means that if they want to prevent the populate, they actually have to kill the O2 instead of the 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, that's fine.
Ash Charter Course, they're going to respond with Bowmasters. They did not. Talarian Academy and a Sail into the West. We have no mana, but we have one Fetcherino. So I think we're good here. I mean, I have one card in hand and a Bone Crusher in the Adventure Zone. Zealous Conscripts, what can you steal that matters here? I don't think anything. Sure. I mean, I'm definitely going to double block here. To prevent them from getting the initiative. That's the end, right? That's the game. Make that kitty cat big. I guess it's not strictly game yet, but I feel like it's close. Uh, we can crack this. Get a land, get it back with Titania. Replay it as our land. Crack it again. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we crew this, it's twelve. That's not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. I mean, we could just keep Golosing. I mean, they're also just dead on board to the to the to the trap. This is a lot of mana as well. Yeah, I'm just going to go one, two, three, Titania. Get back. Thespian stage. Crack this. Get the last island that we have access to. Crew this with Titania. Get in there with these fine gentlemen. Populate the elemental. And then we put them like two, three, two. Play this as our land. And we don't have a lot of green left. <laughs> I guess this guy makes green. So I'm just gonna go Sylvan Library. Feels good? I don't know. Yeah, cycle that guy. That's the end. Okay. That went well. You'll never guess what Frank said about Thrag. Oh my god, how dare you! Why would you do this? Oh, what up, TPO? I cannot believe you've done this. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's a little slow, but I feel like we're gonna do well. We're gonna we're gonna draw a, a mana vault or a soul ring. Do we have a soul ring in here? They went to five on the play. Well, that's not great for them. Is this going to be the the one two that we're looking for? Okay. <laughs> Oof. Why would you do this? 
I mean, I'm going to try to hit a land here. Okay. That's really good, actually. Set us up. Um, so we'll definitely draw Raging Ravine here. We play top, and then we can play Talisman after that. Yeah, that was pretty rough. We're also kind of top-locked now. So I guess we both went to five, huh? Huh? Look at that. Go get, go get your little island. So we can actually... I think this is just better than not doing this, right? Sure. Everything's just really working out for them, you know? Oh, I guess we're in combat? That was an interesting choice for me. Well, we can cast Tamiyo. So that's a... Oh, <laughs> the Tamiyo is the one that survives. Fantastic. So do we plus one? Probably, right? What can we look for? She's going to go up to six. They're going to knock her down to four. And then I still get a hit. I have not played a land. I think forest. Is it non-land card? Oh, no. You're not going to let me choose a land? Jeez. What's good for us to pick up here? Chariot? And we whiff. Man, if we had Tamiyo out right before they mind twisted, that would have been cool. I think if you name lands with Tamiyo, your odds of hitting are just significantly higher. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. I mean, we could also just, we can just grab Undermountain Adventurer here, which seems pretty decent when they have one card in hand. Oh, we could have also grabbed Titania, but we don't have any lands to sacrifice, so it's kind of worse. Guy's not legendary, so. But we can get a blue source, which is very nice. They have one card. They're just going to draw. Okay. That's fine. Oh, they're just going for face instead of instead of killing Tamiyo. I guess they can still kill Tamiyo with Grim, Grim Lava Mancer, so that actually checks out. So we now have Swamp and three other cards. You 
You think they're gonna forget they have that mox over there on the other side of the the dungeon? Metamorph copying Undercity Adventurer, perhaps? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, well, things are happening. Yeah, when you mull to five, but then you get to him to Torak into Mind Twist your opponent, it's pretty good. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have double blue. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really kind of obnoxious. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we could top hit another blue. Maybe we can Tamiyo to try to hit Hullbreacher. I mean, there's no guarantee they have those guys. Right? I mean, they do have Grim Lavamancer, which is very similar. So maybe it's not Hull Breacher. <sighs> Grim Lava Mancer's a real pain. That's unfortunate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana, eight mana. What's good enough to get here, I wonder? Mindslaver, Olinwald Oddity, Golos, which I think Golos is in the graveyard. Chariot is still in there. The problem is as soon as we cast the Hull Breacher, they're just going to Grimlava Mancer it. I can, but I'd rather do that after because like looking at the top, I mean, I guess we could have looked at the top three to see what we're going to hit, but ugh. We also don't have a second. I was going to see if I can hit Hallbreacher, then get a second blue from the top. That was the goal. But I don't know if that's correct. I think it's just a Seeker's Chariot again. I don't even know. Okay, we did not hit Chariot. We also did not hit <laughs> Hallbreacher. So it wouldn't have really mattered. I also don't know if I want a Time Twister when they have Fairy Mastermind out. So let's just top here, I guess. There's the, <laughs> look, they're both in here. <laughs> look, I found them. Wonderful. <sighs> There's so many little cards that are just really, really obnoxious. And this guy's also a 5-6 now, so it can even properly block either of our guys. Yeah, I just don't think we're winning this game. Like, this guy's a pretty consistent source of card advantage. We're going to draw a card, two cards with Charter Course, they're going to draw one. Um, Hull Breacher just dies to Grim Lava Mancer because it's a 3-2. Like, Tamio gets killed at the end of the turn. Not really seeing a path of victory here. I feel like there's just so many cards in the cube that punish drawing cards. Maybe that's fine. I don't know. Like, even if I top now, they're going to draw another card. Like, that's really obnoxious. None of the cards in my hand don't let them draw cards. Which is kind of funny. Um, sure. Ugh. Do they have Bowmasters? Wow. So they have two different cards right now that are going to penalize me for time twistering. Seems good. There's no way around that right now. I'm just going to concede. Oh, yeah, we're not going to win this game. 3 I did not think this deck was good. I feel like this deck had significant gaps, so kind of expected. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of fine with that. It's, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.